Hey everyone, it's Anna. Happy Sunday evening. It's about eight o'clock and I'm just sitting down to work on a project I need to have done for tomorrow. Nothing like the last minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have spent a lot of time gardening this weekend, um, but I haven't actually been out in the garden. I've been in the shop dividing my Dahlia tubers and getting them tucked away for the winter. And, um, oh, my hands hurt. My hands get so sore doing that kind of stuff. So um, I know it's good for them, but dang, they get sore. <laughs> they get tired. So if I do any coloring or painting tonight, it might be a little, it, it might be a little shaky, <laughs> but still. Um, so I need to clear off my desk. So I thought I thought I would share some things with you that I need to put away. Um, so I have kind of a mix of stuff here. Um, first up, I'll start with these twines. These are some um, twines that I got from my friend Julie for my birthday. And I thought I would share them with you since I have them here on my desk. She probably bought these um, at a fun little shop in the city that she lives in. She lives in a wonderful city that I really, really love. And um, they have all kinds of fun shops there. So um, she probably got these in a shop there. So isn't this a pretty color? And it's really chunky, really chunky twines. So that'll be fun to use. And then there's this color as well. This is like a gray and white, and this is like a peach and white. So, and then this one too, uh, blue, blue and white. So love those. Those are going to be fun, fun to use on tags and stuff. So wrapping up presents. So that'll be fun to use. And then she also gave me these two stickers for my birthday as well. I thought this one was really cute with the um, art implements <laughs> in a jar. And then this one has like a quill pen, a marker, a like a fine liner and a pencil. So I thought that was cute too. Let's see, it says Quiet Lines Design on there is the um, copyright. This one I don't see one on, but they're probably from the same, same artist, so. But I thought those were cute. So fun birthday gift. Uh, when I um, went over to feed mom dinner tonight, I also stopped at a Dollar Tree uh, to see if they had some cups that I like to get for her. They didn't, but I was able to find a few other things that I wanted to pick up. So Oliver got some new toys, uh, two new B-A-L-Ls. <laughs> So he will get to destroy these. I'm sure they won't last very long, but um, he'll have fun with them regardless. So I like the bright colors. So we got those. And then I also found these. These were, uh, the store that I was in has like a $3 and a $5 section. Um, this I think was in the $5 section, but um, I got these to go with the coloring books that I got for that little gal for Christmas. So that should be fun colored pencils. And then I thought these would be fun to wrap those candy cane mugs that I shared the other day, uh, the ones that I picked up at TJ Maxx. And um, I thought this might be a fun way to wrap those up um, with little candy cane. I like the little candy cane rainbows. Like It's like um, it's like a ribbon candy rainbows. I thought that was cute. And it says sweet holiday wishes on there every so often. So, and candy cane kisses. So, but anyway, I thought those might be cute uh, to wrap those mugs. And uh, I wanted something that was not necessarily a Christmas, if that makes sense. So I thought the candy cane theme was good. But let's see. Also, um, I picked these up the other day and I just remembered to pull them out of the Jeep and bring them inside. But let me show you. Um, they actually have this year's mittens out. Um, so let me show you what I use them for first and then I'll show you the mittens that I bought. Um, so this is one of the mitten ornaments that I make. I make these, I don't know, probably just about every year. I've made them probably for probably five years now. Um, but uh, I use the little Dollar Tree mittens, the little fuzzy ones and add lots of ribbons and bows and bells, little tags and lots of greenery, little candy canes and things like that. So these are just little ornaments that I like to make. Um, so, and every year I look to see what color mittens they have because every year they get different colors. So they had them out the other day, so I picked up some of them. So this year the color is this cute little um, mint green. Isn't that cute? I love that color. And then they had like a peaches, peachy pink color. Um, it's really, really faint if it is a color at all, but it probably looks like it's pink. Peach, I don't know, maybe it's a light beige, who knows? <laughs> and then they had a light gray. So there's that color too. And then the last color that they had, which I'm always hoping for, is white. So I'm going to try to tea dye these and see if that works. But um, I'm always I'm always hoping that they have white. 
Um, and this is the first time they've had white in a few years. So very excited to be able to find those. So head to your store if you want to make these little mitten ornaments. Um, head to your store and grab some of these cute little mittens. And then I also found a pair for me. <laughs> um, these are not mittens, but they're black gloves and they're just so soft. So I thought these would be nice and cozy to wear. They'll probably be too slickery to drive with, but uh, they'll be nice just to go from the house to the, the Jeep. So love those. These will not be made into ornaments. These would be actually worn. <laughs> so they have the little magic finger, supposedly. So you don't have to take off your glove if you want to use your phone. So we'll see if that works. But And I think that's about it. Um, oh, actually it's not. I found some fun socks for my mom for Christmas. So let me put these away. Because actually what I went there for was to see if I could find some of the cups that I like to get for my mom. There's a couple other ladies in the house that she lives at um, who are finding it uh, beneficial to drink from the cups that have lids and straws. So the cups that mom's been using, um, they're having to be used by more people. So I wanted to get a few more for her. Um, they didn't have them, but I, I did find some other things. So it wasn't a wasted trip. But they had some really fun socks out. So I did get some socks for my mom. And it's kind of funny because uh, where she lives, she the house has a like a shared laundry service that the caregivers take care of for all the residents. And sometimes mom's not necessarily wearing her clothes. Like she'll be wearing somebody else's t-shirt or pajama pants or, you know, something. The, the clothes always kind of get mixed up. But mom always has her own socks on. And I think it's because she's the only one that wears these really bright colored socks and everybody knows that the, those are hers. <laughs> so, um, anywho, they had these. These are the aloe infused socks. So got those. I thought that pair was super cute. And then they had this pair as well. This is also the aloe infused. And these are so my mom. <laughs> so my mom's style. So she'll love these. And then they had these two, which I thought were super cute, and they are very, very soft. These are branded socks. These are of the Twizzlers candy. Aren't they cute? I just love these. She'll, she will enjoy these. And then they had the Hershey Kisses one. Isn't that cute? And so soft. I just love these. And the last one I picked up was the Blow Pop Charms sock. So I think these are really fun and so very much my mom's style. <laughs> Anything bright and colorful, she'll, she will love. So anywho, I think that's about it now. So I think I've procrastinated long enough. I probably need to get busy working on my project, but um, I hope you all had a wonderful weekend and have a great night. And I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.